All right, I am here at Silver Dollar City and it is not too busy at all on a Thursday night. Here comes the tram. it is a hard ride to film because as you guys can see it's hidden in the woods and the majority of the ride is down in there but there's hardly anybody here yeah, nobody here All right, up next, time traveler. Doesn't look to be anybody in there. And hold on to the restraint hands. Now, prepare for the journey of a lifetime. And jump on. Here's gonna be where the new fire in the whole entrance is going to be. See back there. Can't see too much, the fence is blocked off. Not a whole lot we can see back there. Yeah, this is going to be where the entrance is going to go across the railroad tracks there. I've never been on this, so I think I'm going to give it a try. It's the mini detonator. Alright, we're going to get on the train. I was going to get on this one, but there is way too many people on the train. So I'm going to wait for the next one. Whoops. I didn't judge that, right? <laughs> Now, folks, over on the right hand side is the wonderful Cowboy Camp. 
That's where you can go and learn how to fix speed food like a good old cowboy in one of them old chuck wagons. Yeah, Up here on the left hand side, that two story green building, that's our world famous Silver Dollar Saloon. Yes, sir, they got some of the prettiest and longest legs in that there saloon. But hey, now, you gentlemen, best behave because that's just the bar schools. Folks, you would like to see our pretty saloon gals, I'm going to highly encourage you to swing by the saloon show there. Well, folks, we are coming up on fire in the hole. Hey, why don't we all yell that? On the count of three, one, two, three, yell fire in the hole. Yes, folks, well, just the other day, we had a couple of pesky ball knobbers come to our town and set half of our beautiful town on fire. Now, our local volunteer fire chief, he's been needing all the help he can get. He's running out that raging, that blazing. Everybody say it with me now, fire in the hole. Is folks. All right now, over on famous wooden road push back in 2013, it'll drop down 80 grand, but 65 miles per hour and turn you upside down. Not I once, like no way. sir, not twice, but a whopping number of three. Ugly. Ugly. Ugly, oh yeah. Ugly. Yeah. So I got the tasting passport, which gives you five items. And then I got the one where it includes the refill mug. And this was, it was $48 with tax because I got the passport holder discount. on the Chase Passport is the pumpkin pie funnel cake. So this is actually almost a full-size funnel cake. Let's give this funnel cake a try. Tastes like a funnel cake with pumpkin spice. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not something that I would, you know, go out of my way for.
let's check out Foggy Hollow and Pumpkin Plaza. the flooded mine ride and the buildings all lit up in Christmas lights so this is my first time riding flooded mine ride that's what this looks like. Mm -hmm. I'm heading out of here for tonight. We'll be back tomorrow to ride some rides, see some shows, check out the shops.